Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the weaponized tamper that was added into the game yesterday. <clears throat> in the background footage, you will see me messing around with it and uh, going around, kind of killing cops and just <clears throat> kind of enjoying it. Now, this was before I put any upgrades on it. So, the way that the gun worked is you have to have the car pointing at what you want to shoot. You can't, like, aim around. But with the minigun upgrade, you're actually able to aim wherever you want and you're able to... Um, you have to turn the car to uh, face where you want to shoot. You just shoot wherever, like I said. Um, uh, I was in a session earlier, and I went around killing uh, players, and I was really actually enjoying it because the minigun helped me out a lot. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the minigun helped me out a lot, and I was able to turn easily, and it wasn't like I had to point the car and shoot people, I and I was able to aim up call. and down wherever I wanted. Um, oh, hey. And I was more accurate, and I didn't okay. miss as much. And the, what also helped me was Tampa itself is somewhat fast, it's not real slow, and um, it allowed me to get away from people real quick, but I was really careful on who I shot, only because I didn't want to pay 20k, because I think in all the vehicles, if you destroy them, you're paying 20k, so I was real careful, and people, the total, my car got destroyed four or five times, so people paid a lot of money. Um, I paid to buy it now price, which was like 2.5 for it, and I would say that price is worth it. Um, we can all do some gun earning missions though, and bring down, bring it down though, and uh, I would, I don't know if you don't have a lot of money, do that. But if you don't really care, I'd buy it now. Um, you can also, but it also helps. Why it's worth it because you can really just mess around with it, have fun, do whatever you want, and you're able to also. Um, go into missions and use them. I don't know about contact missions, but like the gun running missions, so the free mode stuff, you can easily do it in this. It's, you just have to worry about like snacks and stuff because some of the bullets can get through, I think. That's the only thing I worry about though. And um, uh, if you're a solo player, you don't have to have another person to shoot. You can shoot yourself. You don't have to like switch or whatever. That's what I don't like about some of the other vehicles. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cover a little bit more on why I like it, and I'm going to cover some of the negatives to it, and why that you might want to stay away from it, and then I'll go ahead and give my overall opinion of it. The customization for the Tampa is also pretty good. Um, you can add uh, armor plating, which is what's on the car, like the things that go around the windows right now. I don't know if they stop bullets or not. Right now, I just think they're for design, but then on the hood, you can add some stuff, too. It's for design. And um, you can put liveries on it, which I have a livery on there, and I have it blue. You can make it any color you want as the background. I think you get two starting off. You get two or three whenever you're just starting off. But, um, uh, like I say, you get two or two or three liveries starting off. And that's the inside of the MLC, by the way. The downside to weaponized Tampa is the price. One of some of the downsides that the price is the big one. That turns away a lot of people. And, um, you know, many people don't want to even give it a second look or anything. But uh, another downside is the armor because I believe one or two explosives destroy it. But like I said earlier, I think bullets can go through that armor plating you can put on the side. So it doesn't help at all. Like it's not armored. You can only protect yourself with the mini gun or whatever gun you have on top. And um, another downside would be upgrading the equipment. The new vehicles, this goes for all of them, I think. But uh, you'll have like certain upgrades you can put that are expensive. Like the Louvre's, I think, they're like 50, 75K around there. But then, like, putting on the weapons, like, you'll get for proximity mines on the Tampa, was 90k. I don't have that, but I've looked at it. And then, um, for the mini guns that I have, it's 180k, that's 190k, I think I spent on it. And that is a lot of money. So, that's another big downside to it. But, um, sorry y'all couldn't get to later on in the footage, so y'all just me just messing around with it. Um, but... Um, those are really all the bad things I can think of with the car. Uh, I will have a video of, uh, uploaded later, though. Not later, tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow. I'll talk about the rocket bike. But overall, I'll give the champion an 8 out of 10. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video. If you want to see more, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And come back to it and see what I upload. So if you like the channel, stick around if you like it. If not, do whatever you feel is necessary. Have a good day. See you guys in the next video, and bye.